What's up? Cheap and easy people. Alright, we're going to play with Old Blue. Oh, I've already got it jacked up in the air. So my plan is I'm going to try to get the headers off all in one piece because I'd like to weld them up. That way I don't have to worry about them. I got it jacked up just so I could hopefully have, as you can see, a little clearance so I can drop it down. But it looks like the starter may be in the way, so I'm going to take the starter down. And then hopefully this header can come out all in one piece because it, it separates in three pieces. And I'd like to be able to see the right there that's one of the pieces and then the other one's right there. The other one's over there. So if I can get this out all in one piece, I'm going to take it to the shop and then weld all this up. That way that's one less thing to have to do trying to do this on the car it'd be a pain in the butt to if this is up in there it'd be hard to get up in there to weld and get it to seal off right so i'm gonna pull the starter off and and that's my plan my plan anyway no no should have stretched again i didn't you guys can see or not now what are you guys looking at are you looking at the header you're looking at starter let's see oh there's the starter almost there almost there there we are all right let's see if i can do something like this where you can see a little better. I can't even see crawled in the mud. I'm, supposed to, I'm trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to rain just a little bit. Looks like it's a half inch wrench hmm. for the starter bolt. Remember, if there's two or three on these. Like there's three. Well, there may be only two. I don't work on Fords much. Yeah, a lot of sand or something. Holy crap. There's all that sand. Did you, did you go to the beach or something, David? Shit. What's going on here? I'm getting a shell on my eyes. You know, I, I, like I said, I should be going to get some safety glasses, but I'm too lazy to get up and go get them. So I just close my eyes and hope for the best. All right, now this header's in my way. Let's see if I get shove it back up in there. Oh, that's going to be a knuckle buster. Looks like the damn bolt's kind of rounded. Rounded off. Hmm. Can't really get a wrench on it. Let's see if I can get the socket back on there. May have to yank the headers out for now. I don't understand why this has got to be such a pain in my ass. Let's see if I can get it this way. You guys probably can't even see what the hell I'm doing. This little bolt is kicking my butt. So, there's the starter. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to work on that top. Bah! Oh my gosh. I'm getting aggravated. Nothing's working right. Uh, 
There's the starter. You can kind of see the bolt I'm trying to get right. Or my finger hat way up there. Right there. Kind of like where I'm giving you the bird. Bird is a word. I can't tell. I'm not very good at this camera stuff. Muddy, nasty out. Old turn at a time. really take this header out but I really want it left in here so I can keep it together I'm hoping this thing will come out all in one piece oh it must have been slipping because this is still tighter than shit uh, that's what I was afraid of felt like it was turning but it's just the damn bolt is rounded off Stupid Fords. All right, header's got to come out. I know. No way around it. And then I can get this get to the starter easier. I don't remember which one I put in first last time. All right, looks like it's this one right here. Well, that ain't that one. Headers apart so I can at least get the headers out. I got them both wedged in there. Piece of sh shit. I mean, stuff. Yep, yeah, just. <clears throat> Man, I'm not deal. I may have to see if I can impact it. See you guys. See the bolt I'm trying to get to is right there. See it's rounded off. It was already rounded. I didn't do it. Uh, the other one was kind of rounded too, but I was able to get it off. This is an old ratchet I got probably 15 years ago or so. It's pretty cool. If you watch it, oh, here, ratchets. Well, see which way. So it's going counterclockwise. Going counterclockwise now. And you can still turn this handle. See, it's going clockwise. But now I can turn the handle the other way. Well, it's still going clockwise. Counterclockwise. I can go, so you can do this. And it's still going counterclockwise. It's a pretty cool little ratchet. It's one of them. I walked in the store, 
the guy was like, hey, check this out. He goes, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but check this ratchet out. You can go either way and it's still going the way you want it, either counterclockwise or tightening up. You can just go like that and you can tighten it up. And I was like, well, you done sold me. I want one now. There we go. That's what I needed. So now, you watch. I'm going, going counterclockwise, so loosen it up. So you can just go back and forth like this, or just keep going this way. Pretty dang cool. Starter is out. Works great for tight quarters. Look at that. Uh, big old chunk right out of here. Out of one of the teeth. That's not good. That's not good at all, mister. All right. Let's see if this header will fit back in there now. I'm going to put it back together. All right. You can see the... I got... All the headers put back together. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the headers once I get in the shop. Show you how they all come apart. Real pain in the butt. We're going to see if this thing will go back up in there. All in one piece so we can take this in the shop and weld them all together. Almost like we got to go up a little higher with the on the truck. I'm, I'm pretty confident with the enough wiggling. I should be able to get it. I gotta notch the frame too. And I notch that frame too to help get the headers up in there. Okay, so now... Okay, now what are we hitting on? Ah, right in my balls. Hmm. Oh, right in the head. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are seeing. <laughs> Pain in my butt. How many times I said that? Still trying to trying to work that header in. Like it falls out super easy. But you can't get the damn thing in. Now, guys, what? Stay on your feet, buddy. I wonder if I go in this way. Uh, 
can't see a damn thing. Oh my gosh. I love headers. <sighs> About to say screw it and just weld it together and I'll make it fit one way or another. I'm tired of dicking with it. Driver's side's gonna be a piece of cake. I do know it comes in because we put it in in one piece. I can't even see. I got so much dirt in my eyes. Uh, can't wipe my eyes because I got dirt on my hands. Hmm. Got so much dirt in my mouth too, chewing on it. I'm not bitching though. I'm just complaining. There's a difference, I think. Mm hmm. This right here is what's getting me. So right now it's hitting right there. And then it's hitting this hump. This is where I'm going to notch it. I'm going to take this and uh, cut it back way back here. Well, not way back here, but about a half inch or so. But that'll get rid of that hump here. Or this pop out, and then that header tube should slide right up in there, in theory. Oh, I got to order header gaskets. I need to go do that right away when I get done with this. That's going to be the square tubing. I also got to match this up to the manifolds that took off because I probably ought to go do that now. Yeah, I probably better go make sure these fit on or match up bolt pattern wise on the manifolds we took off because these are oval those are square up there might be a problem let's go to the shop I'm about done I, I'm I know I'm pretty confident I can get that in there once I uh, notch that frame right there if I notch that and jack the truck up just about six more inches. That's what she said. Uh, we'll, uh, I think we're going to be good. I think we'll, I'm pretty confident we'll get it in there. If not, I'll, I'll just cut the whole damn truck in half to get it on there. All right, let's go check out the manifolds. Uh, I got that crap on my eyes. Don't feel sorry for me. I was being a dummy. You should always wear your safety glasses. I got, I got probably twenty pairs sitting there. <clears throat> it's called being lazy. So you can see that square on the manifolds. These are oval. We got to see if these are going to even match up. We may be wasting our time. I'm thinking something like this. Hell, I think it'd probably take. A, I'll show you how these, these so these headers come in. They're in three pieces. This is why I want to get want to try to keep this all together and see they're they're all cut apart here. So that's why I really like to just weld all this up. Weld all this up. 
weld all this up. Uh, that way we can get this header put in the truck all in one piece. This one would be this side. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if these headers are even going to work. Bring you in closer so you can see. Uh, you can see the the oval's a lot bigger. It's longer. The bolt pattern uh, appears to be correct. Let's get a tape measure. I don't want that. I don't want that big one. Let's get the smaller one. So, where are we at here? We're at looks like an inch and three eighths. This is inch and five eighths. That is one inch exactly. That's an inch and one eighth. What do we do? I guess we need to go look at the head and see if it's got big enough surface. Let's go check that out. Trying to beat the rain. I think we're about to have to wrap this up. It's starting to sprinkle just a little bit. Crap, I can't. Can't quite reach down in there. Guess I go from underneath. Uh. It's like inch and a quarter. So I'm thinking if we got an inch and five eighths, we got an inch and five eighths of surface, those headers will still work. Oh yeah. So we're looks like we're ah, can't quite reach. Looks like we're right at two inches. Well, the inch we have enough surface here and up there for the oval to still work. You know, we should still be good. So now my problem is I'm guessing my header gaskets need to be for the oval and not the square. Hmm. Oh, come on back down here, guys. Uh, things I deal with. But had a set of Mustang headers. Hoping to save them a little money and plus get rid of them. Because I've had them kicked around my shop for about 20 years. Brand new old stock. So... Oh, why wow, he's got a lot of vacuum lines broken up there. I didn't do that. So, I think we're going to try to weld up the headers. Make them all one piece. That's about all we can do for now. Order some uh, header gaskets. But, oh, I also wanted to say thank you. I got over a thousand subscribers now. That's freaking awesome. Uh, spring's coming up, so... I'll be able to work on a lot more stuff here 
distance the weather is going to hopefully cooperate a little bit and then uh, Joshua's going to be goat cart racing um, every other week so I'll probably do some videos of that but thank you everyone for subscribing liking make some comments I'll talk to you all right peace out